I'm Jane. And I'm John. And we're Bucket List Travellers. And we're coming to you from Ljubljana, Slovenia. And in this video, we present the ultimate guide to Slovenian food. We're going to show you the best food to eat in Slovenia, from cheap eats to fine dining. Ljubljana is the capital of Slovenia, and it looks like it came straight out of a fairy tale. We loved the beautiful cobblestone streets, the scenic river that runs through the centre of town, and the picturesque castle overlooking the city. And we couldn't get enough of the amazing selection of local food. From hearty winter stews to delicious prosciutto boards and fabulous dessert, there's so much to tempt your taste buds. In this Slovenia food vlog, we'll show you where and what to eat when visiting Ljubljana, Slovenia. If you want some great cheap local Slovenian food, make sure you come to Kobasana. Strukli is a must-try Slovenian dish. They are dumplings of rolled dough that come in both sweet and savoury flavours. They were freshly prepared, so nice and warm, and they were a bit over three euro. I would describe these as dumplings, and they're all really delicious in their own way. So this one's got tarragon in it, as well as cottage cheese. And this one here has cinnamon, and it's more of a sweet dumpling. And this one, I haven't eaten yet. I think there might be raisins in that one. So, yeah, all really delicious. The dumplings are sort of like rolled up crepes in a way. That's the closest thing I can describe them as. Very delicious and highly recommended when you're in Slovenia. The hero dish for us was the Carniolan sausage, or as us Australians like to call it, the Kransky sausage. It's a smoked pork and bacon sausage with salt, pepper and garlic and was absolutely mouth-watering. It came with some bread and condiments of mustard and horseradish. Watch out, that horseradish has some kick to it. Slovenia has many delicious types of stews to warm you up in winter. The first stew that we tried at Klobasana was Jota. And it contains pork, beans, vegetables and sauerkraut. The perfect meal for a cold winter's day in Ljubljana. The Jota has a slightly sour taste to it from the sauerkraut. I really like that taste and hearty is the operative word. It's just very, very hearty. Ah, oh, yum. Ruchette is another stew that can be best described as a barley porridge. It comes with a number of vegetables, beans and sausage. Cordilla Gourmet is a restaurant in the heart of Ljubljana, Slovenia, and we have a traditional Slovenian dish, which is butirepa. Sorry if I've said that wrong. The traditional recipe for this stew contains the fatty parts of a pig's head, neck and skin, as well as sour turnips. It tasted much better than it sounded, and it kind of reminded me of a minestrone soup. We had a big serving, which also came with bread, so we thought it was great value for a bit over five euro. One of our favorite things about traveling around the world is having all the beautiful regional cuisine. And we have here a must-eat dish in Slovenia, which is borat. Now this is originally a Hungarian dish, but it's been adapted by the Slovenians. And it is a stew which has four different types of meat. It looks really nice and warming on a cold winter's day. And it's topped with some fresh herbs as well. It looks like it's got some potatoes in there. Mm. Yeah, so this is slow cooked and the potatoes really nice and tender. The meat has a little bit of a gristle to it. I think I can see some bay leaves in here, so lots of herbs and spices. So I might try some of this. So I'm not sure whether I'm going to get this pronunciation right, but it's Ida Zyganski. Spoon bread's probably easier to say. And I can understand why it's called spoon bread. It's a bready texture, it's cornmeal and you just spoon it into your soup like this, so very easy to eat. Mm. Mm. And it's got 
crackling and stuff in there as well. So yeah, it's really flavorful and it really adds a lot to the dish. So this is a really hearty meal. It's very warming. And this is the perfect comfort food. One must try specialty dish of Slovenia is the Primerska Gibanica. So it's this amazing looking dessert here. It's a seven layered cake and the different ingredients in there are cheese, there's cream, there's sour cream, there's also raisins in it and it looks like there's a few other extra things in there as well. So it's just layered on top of each other. It looks really nice. I really like the way it's presented. So this was €3.90 and it looks really yummy so I'm going to give it, a, give it a try. So this is a ceremonial dish in Slovenia. It's over 200 years old. It was made in the 1800s. Yeah, I get all the layers. Definitely taste the raisins in there. Um, yeah, there's a hint of cinnamon in it as well and I think there's a, there could be apple in here as well it tastes tastes a little bit like an apple strudel which is very delicious yeah this is this is really nice we're halfway through our Slovenia food tour be sure to hit that like button if you're finding it helpful and if you're looking for more fun and informative videos like this then don't forget to subscribe When you're in Slovenia, make sure you check out their prosciutto boards. So I've got one board here which is 100% Slovenian food. So this is mangalica, a really fatty prosciutto which is supposed to be very tasty. And we've got sausage as well and then we've got some cheeses from Slovenia as well. The cheese here is from the region of the highest mountain in Slovenia and this white thing here is actually lardo or lard it's basically pig fat but it's mixed in with spices so that's going to be really interesting to try and we've also coupled it with some Slovenian wine it looks like a great dish so this was all 15.90 euro and the glass was 5.50 euro so you can see that it's really shiny and that's just the fat that's just permeating through the the prosciutto. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, it's quite salty. It's just really, hmm, I think smooth is the way to describe it as well. It's just that fat, fattiness in that just gives it a lot of flavor and it just tastes very smooth. Mm. Okay, now I'm gonna try the, the pig fat, the lardo. This is, yes, this is really interesting. So I was told that they freeze this 24 seven. And so this is still quite cold. And as you eat it, it just melts in your mouth, literally melts. And the spices are quite subtle. I couldn't really get a taste of the spices. Maybe I need a bit more, but that's a really fascinating and quite a unique taste. So I don't know exactly how to describe it. When you bite into it, it, it just melts away in your mouth and it leaves quite a quite a pleasant aftertaste actually so it sort of coats your tongue but in a nice way and this sausage is aged mm -hmm, wow for such a really thinly sliced bit of sausage it just packs a wallop of flavor this feels very decadent, so make sure you get a prosciutto board when you're in Slovenia. And they also have prosciutto boards where you can compare prosciutto from different countries like Italy, Croatia and Slovenia. So definitely check this out on the waterfront. Atelier is the only restaurant in Ljubljana with a Michelin star. 
We tried their three course lunch special for 28 euros and we're glad we did. First course has come out and I have a parsnip soup. Now, the sound of it sounds a bit, nothing special, a bit simple, but this looks so fancy and it smells absolutely delicious. So, I'm gonna grab my fancy spoon and get into it. Mm. Wow, mm, this is so nice. It's really light and creamy, and it's got a slightly sweet taste to it as well. I like sweet, so it's right up my alley. Mm. Perfect start. Our mains of beef, chuck steaks, and fish were tasty and well presented. However, our favourite dish of the meal was the pear dessert. For dessert, we've got a pear with a maple sorbet. So this looks immaculately presented. Oh. Mm. It just falls apart. Well, that, that bit's a pear. I think, I'm not sure whether this is a pear after all. And it's got some chocolate biscotti, crumbs, chocolate crumbs. Mm. This looks like a work of art and it tastes pretty darn good too. Ljubljana Castle is host to the Michelin Bib Gourmand restaurant Gostilna na Gradu. The Michelin Bib Gourmand rating is just under the one star rating and recognises friendly establishments that serve good food at moderate prices. What we love about this restaurant is that they make traditional Slovenian dishes in a fine dining setting. We decided to treat ourselves to their six course tasting menu. Smoked butter and sparkling wine. We're off to a really good start. Now, our first official course has come out, and this is a cake made out of cottage cheese, and it's got some veggie garnishes on top. It looks immaculate, and Jay has got the beef top. So really light and airy with the cheese, and I think there's some raspberry in there as well, so it's, it gives it a bit of tartness and sweetness as well. Oh, it's just really delicious, this is great. I love fine dining where the food tastes good. Like there are some fine dining places that are nice, but the, the tastes are just way out there and like they're more works of art than something you like to eat. But this, I can safely say, is delicious. So we now have a soup course. So I've got a celerac soup. I think I heard some apple, and there's also, uh, I think there's also some trout in here as well. So a whole range of flavors. Looks quite creamy. I think I can see some trout. Mm. Really nice. It's, it's really quite some complex flavors in there. Mm. They're really delicious. For our next course, we've both got the pasta. It's stuffed with a polenta, sun-dried tomatoes, and cottage cheese. And we've got some marinated Brussels sprouts. We've got a shrimp puree, a few pieces of shrimp as well, and a cheese crisp. So this looks amazing. That pasta is cooked to perfection. The Brussels sprouts give it a little bit of crunch. This is an excellent dish. The first of the mains are out and I have some venison. So this venison comes with a mushroom puree, a pasta puree, and there's a cranberry sauce as well. If you didn't think that was fancy enough, we also have a fruit finger roll. So this just looks awesome. And We've got a Slovenian red to go with it, uh, and this tastes amazing. You've got peppery notes in there, and oh, it's just really beautiful, really smooth. I love this. My main is the sea bass and fennel. 
it comes with a parsnip puree of fish bone and there's some Brussels sprouts in there as well. So it's got really nice light flavours which again balance together quite well. So we got a surprise dessert from the chef. Now this is a traditional Slovenian dessert that's made at this time of year. Uh, for a special festival where people get dressed up in masks, it's sort of like Halloween. It's celebrated just at the end of the winter, and the aim is to scare winter away. Oh, wow. So the pastry, it just melts away in your mouth so easily, so there must be a lot of butter in it. Oh, it's mm, really nice. So it's like, sort of like a shortbread in a way. But yeah, really good. For our dessert, I have pineapple carpaccio and it also comes with a gin and tonic sorbet. There's also some juniper berries in there with it. I think that's some white chocolate with it, just to round it out. So this looks exquisite and I'm sure it's going to taste exquisite too. Yeah, it's very nice, a very fitting end to a fantastic meal. We are Bucket List Travellers. See you next time. Thank you.